are you fourth year? I hope you are fine. Yes, okay, I'm happy. Well, today is the 2nd of June. Yes, Tuesday the 2nd of June. Yes, and um, we are going to uh, start Unit 6. Bye bye May. Hello June. Bye bye Unit 5. Hello Unit 6. Okay? So pay attention, we are going to work, uh, revise morals in the present, must, might, may, could, couldn't, plus infinitive, and moral verbs in the past, yes, must have, could have, done, could have, studied, yes, okay, so you have all the moral plus have, plus the past participle, yes, we are going to work in class with pages, on pages 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73, and as homework, you have pages 44, exercise 4, 45, 46, 47, exercises 4, 5, and 6. Plus, record, re, you have to record a 3 minutes video explaining the Merchant of Venice. Okay, is it clear? Yes, did you get the um, stories from Shakespeare? Yes, okay. Aportate que las historias están en la fotocopiadora librería Oropel. Eh, Jonasal, casi coronel bogado, ok? Tenés que tener la short story para hacer tu brainstorming, yes? Acordate que hoy me tenés que mandar el, uh, el video 24 Hour Society, positive and negative aspect, plus, plus your brainstorming, yes? The Merchant of Venice, ok? Alright, is it clear? Yes, ok. There we are. Shall we start? Yes, yeah, shall we start? Yes, remember it's a three minutes video and you have to explain the story, okay? What is it about? Yes, if you like it or not, okay? Is it clear? Good. Well, so uh, let's go to page 69. I want you to put the date in all the pages. Yes, put the date on page 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73. All right, yes? Good. Well, there we are. So, you have to look at the image. Are you there? This image, yes. Uh, does it look like a painting or a photo? What is happening there? What does it make you think about? Do you think the image has a message? What? These are cows sunbathing in Andalusia, Spain. Yes, okay. And there are some people there, over there. Yes, okay. Cows are on the sand. Yes, okay. Um, and in the sky, you can see some people parachuting, paragliding. Yes, okay. Kiting. Maybe. Yes, okay. So, um, what is the image? Is there a... a, a the, what, is, what is the message? Is there a message? Yes, okay. May, well, I don't know there is, if there is a message, but these, these are cows sitting on the sun. Yes, you know, Andalusia is very hot. Yes, okay. Uh, people are parasailing over the beach or sea in the background. Yes, because you can see a beach maybe. Okay, well, so we are going to check our answers and we're going to guess if there was a meaning in this picture through the... Uh, Behind the picture, all right? Listen. Unit 5D. 1. Good morning. Can I help you? Wait a minute. There we are. Track 43, Unit 6 Opener. What a photo. It's like a dream. Is it real? I mean, do you think the photographer photoshopped it? No, it's totally genuine according to the website. Genuine. It was taken on a really hot day, so maybe that's why it looks a bit strange. But I don't really understand where the cows are. They're on a beach. It says here the photographer was driving along a coast road in Andalusia and saw some cows lying on the empty beach. He couldn't get close in his car, so he had to park and walk along the beach in 35 degrees Celsius heat. That sounds horrible. 
I don't think I'd do that. 35 degrees, that's hot, yeah? And we are 40 sometimes, yes, okay. Just to get a shot. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised you didn't frighten them. Not 40. It's hard to get close to animals. But what's going on in the background? I can't make it out. It looks like people on the beach. I think they're parasailing. It's a really popular sport there. It's always windy on that beach. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. So let's go to um, uh, exercise three. Yes, okay. I want you to pause the video, do the activities. I will say the answers. Yes, okay. Good. Number one, do you think the photographer photoshopped it? Yes. No, it's genuine, it says, okay. Uh, it's se refiere a the photo. I'm surprised he didn't frighten them. Them, the cows. Yes, I can make it out, the background. Yes, they are parasailing. Yes, the people. And number five, it's a really popular sport. They are, yes, they are, means Andalusia. Okay, so I want you to um, highlight these words. Bags, clothes, yes, money, watches, okay, over there. Yes, okay. So, let's go to exercise 70, exercise 70, yes, okay, page 70, sorry. Yes, and you have, the woman isn't sure if the, if the photo is genuine. Why do people sometimes make false photo, photos? What about these things, yes, okay. And well, so it's a photos uh, to make them look better, yes, uh, to make people look younger, Yes, okay, to create a particular artistic effect, yes. Do you agree on people uh, Photoshop, uh, making Photoshop of all the photos that they take? Or um, they must be uh, real photos, yes, okay. For example, the, the photos you put on Facebook, on Facebook, yes. Okay, are they all real? Uh, actor and actresses, do they, actresses, do they Photoshop everything? Yes, what do you think? What about the Kardashian, the Kardashian uh, sisters and family? Yes, okay, they look like Photoshop, Photoshopped all the time. Yes, okay. Um, to pretend something happened that didn't, yes, bags, clothes, yes, okay. They, it, sometimes uh, you change the background, yes, uh, you put a different background, not the real one, yes. As uh, students may mention, well, okay, uh, sometimes uh, it can uh, create a fake thing that it's not there, yes, okay. For example, uh, a fake Louis Vuitton, yes, Louis Vuitton handbag, yes, okay. Uh, well, some Levi's jeans, yes, okay. So, you know, with Photoshop you can do everything, yes, okay. Look younger. Uh, pretend you have a bank, a, a handbag that you don't have, yes, okay, well, a design, yes, a designer, yes, a, 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 a handbag from a designer, yes, from a very famous designer, yes, okay, well, so let's go to um, 6A, page 70 and 71, yes, okay, you are going to... Um, Listen, yes, then in exercise three and four. And, but first of all, yes, to a speaker talking about puzzles and uh, flexible thinking. But I want you to tell me if you like, do you like doing this kind of puzzles? Yes, okay. Uh, the candle trick. Your task is to attach the candle to the wall so that the wax doesn't drip on the floor below. You only have the candle, a box of drawing pins, and some matches. How do you do it? Yeah, so I want you to, if you, if you want, you can do it. Yes, okay? Well, uh, exercise, let's go to uh, exercise two. Yes, okay? And it says, um, compare your ideas, blah, 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 yes. Um, and then you have to go to, to page 155 to find out the answer to the puzzle. Was it easy or difficult to work out? Okay, you will do it at home. Yes, okay. And then go to page 155 and check your answers. Okay, so uh, what about flexible thinking? Yes, okay, flexible think thinking and rewards. Do you think it's okay uh, that you think better 
you will think more. If I give you a task, do you think you will think more? Yes, if I give you a reward. Yes, if you know that at the end of the task, you will have a reward. What do you think? Well, this text is about this, yes? It's about uh, people, yes, having a reward, yes? And this reward, if this reward, I want you to think about this, if this reward make them sing, make them think better, faster, okay? So, um, it says that it's not always true, yes? Always true, yes? Okay, because it depends on the task, on the type of the task. Yes, okay, rewards are great, yes, for making people concentrate on a specific task, yes, okay. If the task has um, set uh, clear rules, yes, okay, clear set of rules, yes, it will help, but, yes, okay, it will help them if I say, Okay, I will give you, you will have a reward when you finish this task. And these are the rules, yes. You will do it faster. It will help. But sometimes, yes, okay, it's not, uh, it doesn't um, help when we are talking about creative and flexible thinking. Yes, okay, read it. Yes, okay. When task doesn't have a clear answer, concentration doesn't help. Your brain needs to be relaxed and open so that it can look at the problem in different ways. Yes, for example, in the workplace, yes, uh, the reward, the re every word is usually common. Yes, okay, because, okay, uh, you need to think carefully. Yes, okay, and then you need to, okay, they will work better if I pay them more. Yes, okay, so in business it's like this, yeah? And people work harder for every word, but only in some kind of work, yes? When we are talking about flexible thinking, no, okay? This is when you have, um, when you need to concentrate, when you need, when you have set uh, clear rules and a com you, co you can complete the task faster because you have every word and you can do it well. But if you are talking about um, flexible thinking and creative thinking, no. You need to um, um, have your brain like relaxed, yes? And in this way, open and relaxed, and in this way, you will see many different uh, options to solve the task, okay? So this text is very interesting. So now we are going to go to the listening. Yes, uh, exercise three and four, okay? Are you ready? So it says, listen to a speaker at a conference. She asks her audience to do the puzzle in exercise one. What is the mystery she also talks about? And then you have to listen again and complete the sentences, okay? Now, so let's see what the mystery is. Track 44, unit 6A. I have two questions for you today. The first, how good are you at flexible and creative thinking? And the second, do you think, this, this was the, uh, the, the question I was going to answer. Because in the text it says, or it is said, that uh, if you give a person a reward, yes, they will solve the task better and faster. But do you agree with this idea? Or do you think that if I give you a reward, if I tell you I will give you a reward at the end, at the end of this task, do you think you will do it slower? Slower? Yes or no? Do you agree that you can do it faster or slower? Yes? So I want you to think about this. Because maybe, yes, you, okay, you say, okay, I, will, I want the reward, I want the reward, yes? And you take your time, Yes, because you think you have to do it well, because you are, um, you want the reward, yes, you are, you are going to be a, given a reward, yes, and you don't do it uh, in a fast way, and it takes long, um, long hours to finish it, so what do you think about it? Think about that, yes, it's a good question. 
I have two questions for you today. The first, how good are you at flexible and creative thinking? And the second, does the promise of a reward make you work harder? So let's test your flexible thinking. I'm going to give you a task. You have a candle, a box of drawing pins and some matches. The task is to attach the candle to the wall so that the wax doesn't drip on the floor below. How do you do it? Well, clearly the matches are to light the candle with. And we know that drawing pins are for attaching things to other things. But what about the box? Yes, it's for holding the drawing pins. But you can also use it to hold the candle. And then you attach the box to the wall. Did you get it? Yes? Congratulations. You're a flexible thinker. Now, let's turn to the second question. Imagine I offer half of you some money to do this task more quickly. Not a lot of money, but a fair amount. It's work, and we all work for money, don't we? And I tell the other half of you that I'm going to see how long it takes you so that we can find out the average time. What do you think will happen? The people with the reward of money will be quicker, right? Well, I can tell you the results of this experiment. And it's the same result every time. The people in the first group, the ones who are offered some money, need more time to find the answer. Usually about three minutes longer, in fact. You know, it takes more time. Three minutes longer than the first group. Yes, okay? That's right. It's a mystery. You offer someone a reward and they work more slowly. What's going on? Yes, I think it's because of the fact that uh, you want the money and you say, I will concentrate because I want to do it uh, uh, the best I can. Yes, and you don't want to commit mistakes. So that's why it takes longer. Yes, okay, maybe because of that. Yes, okay. Well, so exercise three. Yes, if you offer someone a reward, they will work more slowly. Four. Okay, now is the time that you will pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Creative, harder, quickly, time, money, answer. Okay, so let's go to um, five. And it says, a reward, a reward is useful for helping people concentrate on tasks that have a clear set of rules. But... A reward is not useful for when you are talking about uh, flexible or creative thinking. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Well, let's go to exercise six. Yes, okay? I want you to write uh, the expressions with long, highlight the expressions, and I want you to put refers to. If they refer to time, distance, or, yes? something else okay is it clear so let's go to number one how long did it take so it refers to time distance or something else time well done number two is it a long way from here i want you to highlight i want you to highlight all the expressions with in exercise six and seven with long all right and then highlight the grammar too all right is it clear Good. Uh, number two. Yes. Is it a long way? Distance. Number three. How long does the essay need to be in the exam? Okay. Um, something else. Yes. Okay. Number four. I'm just going for a coffee. I won't be long. Time. We'll stay here as long as it. Yes. Time. Number six, I love some basic, I could do it all day long, time. Number seven, I can finish this book, it's just too long. Yes, okay, something else. I can, uh, seven, 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 something else. Yes, number eight, you can stay at my house as long as you don't. Yes, okay, on the condition, yes, okay, something else, okay. <coughs> number seven. Something it took you 
Yes, all right. Are you there? I want you to write in your notebook something that took you a long time to do. Yes, it took me a long time. Uh, correcting your essays, or oh, my students' essay took me a long time. Yes, okay? Is it clear? A place a long way away you have visited. Yes, which one could be? Yes? My mother's house is a long way from here. Yes, can be. Yes? Okay, and um, something you could do all day long. Uh, yes, I could watch TV all day long in winter, for example. Something you found too long. I found this book too long yes i won't recommend it yes okay is it clear so i want you to write examples using all these expressions okay is it clear yes or no yes different ex uh, different examples only one each yes with with all the um the uses with long okay is it clear as i did i want you to do it okay so let's go to exercise um, the grammar, purpose, yes, to, for, so that, okay? Imagine I offer half of your money, of you, some money to, yes, okay, to infinitive. So this book is to write essays. So I want you to write an example with to plus infinitive. Is it clear? All right, to infinitive. This book is for writing. Remember you have four plus ing or two infinitive. Yes? Okay, we already know this. Two plus infinitive. Four plus ing. This book, this notebook is to write essays. This book is for writing essays. You already know this, okay? Um, I bought this notebook I bought this notebook, notebook so that you can write, so that you can write, write essays. Is it clear? So you have so that. Yes. Para que? Yes. So that subject verb plus complement. Is it complement? Is it clear? So you have two infinitive, four plus ing and so that. So I want you to write three examples, one each one, yes, with this uh, grammar, okay? So, is it clear? Yes, so I want you to go, yes, oh, I want you to go to uh, exercise 10 and 11, 10 and 11, yes, all right, Good. 10 and 11. Are you there? 10 and 11. Yes. Now is the time that you post the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? All right. We work together, together, to solve the problem. Number two. The box was useful for holding. Three. We look at the key. Yes. Four. Yes, the answers. Yes, number four. I went to the conference to find out more about the brain. Five. I sit near the front so that I can hear better. So that subject plus verb plus complement. Yes, okay. Number six. The speaker used pictures to, yes, okay, to make explanation, the explanation clear. Yes, okay, number seven, lots of people do sodoku, yes, to keep their brain active, yes. Number eight, I'm learning Chinese so that I can work in China. Yes, this is very easy. Yes, you already know how to use this because we have already, yes, from all the other uh, courses, yes, I have emphasized the use of two plus infinity, four plus ing, okay? Um, 
Number 11. Are you there? I want to learn 1D. I want to learn another language so that I can enjoy my traveling more. 2B. My friend called me to ask me my advice about this course, his course. 3. C. I write everything down to help me remember it. 4. G. We download, we download, yes, the homework to our phone so that we can study on the bus. 5. H. Are you going to London for work or holiday? 6. E. This notebook is to keep my passwords in. Yes, I have one. Yes, to keep my password in. Yes, because you know, you find yourself with a lot of passwords. Passwords for everything. Yes, for books. Yes, uh, for um, uh, different, your different accounts. Yes, okay, for the bank. Yes, okay. Number six, uh, seven A. Would you like to meet for a coffee after class? Eight F. Did you get much chance to speak Italian on your trip? Yes, six B. Yes, are you six? Yes, let's go to six B. There was a game there we were supposed to play. We are going to, maybe when you come back, we can um, play it, all right? Is it clear? This one, the one on exercise 12, yes? But we have to work in groups, yes, okay? Uh, it's about the items and, and everything, the, all the words there, okay? Well, if that's a pity. 72, yes, page 72 and 73. Okay, let's go to one. Yes, okay. So, uh, art. Complete the sentences and I want you to highlight all this word. Diagram, drawing, figure, line, pattern and shape. I want you to complete these sentences, pause the video and then, I, and then listen to the answers. Okay, drawing, shape, line, figure, pattern and diagram. And now we're going to go to the listening. You're going to uh, look at the photos and read the caption match the questions from one to three with the changes from a to c all right yes okay are you there okay i tell you the answers pause the video one b two a three c okay good so it says what do you think the answers to the questions in exercise two are Listen to an extra from a radio, an extract from a radio program and check your ideas, okay? Good. All right, so what are they? Where are they? How big they are? They are very big. I think they are, uh, it is in, well, you can, we have already read. It is in Peru, but I, I thought, I thought before I have, I have read um, where it was from, yes, okay? I thought it was in Mexico. Yes, but uh, it's in Nazca, yes, mysterious Nazca line in Peru, yes, it's in Peru, yes, Nazca lines, okay, so we're going to uh, listen, all right? I think they are from spaceships and everything, yes, okay, do you think uh, this kind of spaceships or um, aliens exist? Do they exist for you or they don't? What do you think about it? Where are they from? Yes. Do you think they come? Do you think that they watch us doing different things? They want to investigate how we are, uh, what we eat, yes, how we uh, socialize with other people, yes? What do you think? What? Yes, okay. I am very interested in this. Yes, I have been always interested in this. Um, topic okay so well let's go let's listen track 46 unit 6b the nazca lines are enormous drawings on the ground in the nazca desert in southern peru most of the lines are just shapes but about 70 are animals such as a spider different types of birds a monkey or a dog. There are human figures as well, and they are huge. The biggest of the drawings is about 200 meters across. Altogether, there are hundreds of these drawings, and they are in an area of about 80 kilometers across. The lines were made by the Nazca people 
over a period of time starting about 2,000 years ago. They moved the brown stones that cover the desert and so showed the white ground underneath. You can still see the stones along the edges of the lines. Yes, I thought, if I hadn't listened to this, but when I see the picture, I thought, yes, I think that they are made by, I don't know, uh, aliens or, I don't know, different kind of these creatures, yes, you know, but, yes, okay. Well, so they are enormous drawings on the ground, they are lines and shapes, yes, shapes of animals and human figure. They are in the Nazca Desert in southern Peru, southern Peru. yes, okay, uh, number three, huge, yes, very, very big, yes, the biggest of the drawing is about 200 meters across, yes, okay, and let's go to uh, number four, you have to listen again, yes, okay, and complete, yes, okay, Track 47, Unit 6B. The mysterious thing about the lines is that they only became clear about 100 years ago when air travel began. But the Nazca people couldn't have seen the patterns from above. So the question is how, and indeed why, did they make them? One of the first people to study the lines was an archaeologist called Maria Dreicha. She became convinced that the lines must have been a type of calendar. Other people thought they may have been ancient Inca roads. The strangest idea was that they could have guided creatures from space. One of the other mysterious aspects of the Nazca people is that although this region of Peru is one of the driest places on Earth, they built a successful society there. How could they have done this without water? Well, in fact, there is a river in the mountains. It goes underground for many kilometers before it reappears on the surface. Some people think that this might have seemed mysterious to the Nazca people. And so the lines were part of traditional or religious beliefs linked to the water. Whatever the explanation, one thing is for sure. The Nazca people can't have known that the lines would still be visible centuries later. Yes, you know, it's a mystery, yes, because they are still uh, visible, yes. Okay, well, so uh, number four, patterns, yes, calendar, roads, space and countries, okay. So let's go to page 73. Yes, okay, I want you to uh, highlight the grammar first, yes, you know, uh, in the present, I must, might, I must study, I can't go to your house, yes, in the past, I, I didn't pass my exam, I must have studied more, okay, debía haber estudiado más, yes, okay, the teacher was angry with me, I must have worn the uniform, yes, okay, is it clear? So when you want to refer to the past, you have all the modern verbs, may, must, may, can't, yes, could, plus, have, plus the past participle. So I want you to write one example, each one, in your folder, all right? Yes, okay, as the one I did, as the one I say, yes, okay? Um, you should have finished your homework, yes, okay? I might have gone to that party, yes, all right, yes, good, um, and that's all, can we go to page, uh, can you do exercise seven first, seven first, okay, do exercise seven, and then we go to page 73, okay, good, 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 All right, so we use must, yes, to say if some, something is or was probable, okay? Is it clear? Yes. Number two, we use might, 
may and could to say if something is or was possible. Yes? We use can't and couldn't, yes, to say if something is or was impossible. Okay? Yes, you already know the uses, so I want you to write examples in the past. Okay? Is it clear? So let's go right to the exercises, uh, straight to the exercises. Eight, nine, and ten. Eight, nine, and ten. Yes? Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Is it clear? So, number one, can't be an insect. These are in the present. Okay? Number two, might, may, could be. Yes? Okay? Three, might, may, could be photographing. Four, must be. Yes. Number four, might, may not. May not is more common. Yes. Must be. Number six. Yes. She must be crazy. Yes. She didn't say hello. Yes. Okay. Number nine. Okay. Pass, yes, now quarters in the past. Must have meant, can't have been, three, might have disappeared, four, might have made, five, couldn't have been, six, must have lived, seven, could have used, eight, must have looked after. Yes, okay, I love him. Yes, I remember his eyes. I remember when we were in high school. So I think it must have been love. Yes? Okay? Right. Well, so this is all for today. Yes? Okay, this is all for today. Yes, until page 73. So pay attention. Yes, because I want you... Uh, today I'm going to read your brainstorming. And I'm going to listen to your video because you will handing everything. Yes, okay, remember I, I'm saying today, yes, because I am recording the video uh, in the morning, sometimes the previous day, okay, but uh, as homework you have pages 44, 45, 47, exercise 4, 5 and 6, and the video where you have to explain the story that you have read from Shakespeare, The Merchant of Venice, okay, well, uh, I see you next class, bye bye, see you next class.